Hi, Jen from Jen Michelle Coaching here. What I want to talk about today is how to attract a high quality man. I'll talk to women all the time who will share things like there's no good guys left out there. Men are all jerks. It's just too complicated. Um, yet that's not really true, right? We know on a deeper level that there's still, you know, good men out there and that there's still opportunity and hope for us. We see it all around us each day, which can then trigger us, right? We see coworkers, we see, you know, colleagues, friends, old friends getting married or having a loving, deep, connected relationship. So we know that on a certain level that love is out there for us, but sometimes it can feel easier just to say that it's not possible or that it's too difficult or that it's not worth it. We can talk ourselves into giving up, but we know deep down that that's not that what we really want. And so how we attract a high quality man has so much to do with the kind of relationship that we have with ourselves and what we expect from ourselves. I always talk about having awareness because I feel like all changes and everything that we want starts with creating awareness. But if we're telling ourselves that something isn't meant for us, or if we're trying to protect ourselves from not feeling disappointed, then energetically, it just feels like such a heavy subject. It feels like this really awful thing to, you know, move towards or focus on. So instead of, you know, talking to yourself that way about it, just bring some awareness to it and get curious. Like, what do I need today? How can I give myself a little bit more love? How can I give myself a little more opportunity? How can I remove some of these obstacles that feel so challenging for me? And just kind of be with yourself and recognize that you do not have to be perfect. You do not have to be this confident, 100% in love with herself woman to have the love that you want. You can still be a work in progress and you can still move towards everything that you want. It's not about someday when you've reached that point. It's about right now sending yourself love and compassion so that when you meet the right guy, you can energetically receive it and you can recognize it and be open to it without you know, the negative stuff creeping back in or self-sabotaging it in any way. Number two is moving closer towards the frequency that he's on. So for example, if he's like this lighthearted, sweet person, um, you don't want to talk about other people, gossip, um, talk poorly about him. You want to put out into the world more of what you want. And so that means keeping our side of our conscience clean. That means we do the right thing and we don't talk poorly about him or anybody else really for that matter when they're not around or when we think it's not hurting anybody because energetically it is negative and it is it does have this heaviness attached to it so we want to focus on getting on the same frequency by moving towards what we do want versus um, you know what we consider innocent gossip or conversation about what we don't want so it's about really shifting that and I always recommend to the women that I coach don't talk poorly about him because it's it's just disrespect and it's negative energy so there's, you know, no, no benefit to doing that. It's okay to like share our feelings and to vent, but we really want to avoid really negative language that is not moving us any closer towards our goals or what it is we're trying to achieve with a man. Number three is explore the resistance that you're feeling. Sometimes we can have a ton of resistance when we're creating new habits, right? That's why we kind of will then revert right back to our old way because we'll just feel, we'll feel like we just can't hold it in anymore. We can't bite the tongue. And instead, just think about on a deeper level, what is that about? It's I always say to get curious with it. So if you're feeling a lot of resistance, um, one way of countering that is to, I love to reset the body by taking a deep inhale and exhale and then move towards something that feels more tangible. We just wanna practice gently guiding our mind closer to something where we feel less and less resistance. So that can even look like every day I'm progressing more. 
I'm getting closer to what it is I desire, you know, whatever it is that resonates with you, but it can be a work in progress. It doesn't have to sort of be the end product. And then we're just sort of like fighting with it in our mind. So I would love to hear how practicing that feels for you and your relationship, because really so much of this work is about building momentum little by little with tiny shifts, because over time, tiny shifts lead to huge changes in I know that your relationship will follow if you practice this every day. Your relationship has the potential to have that big shift as well. So I would love to hear how this feels for you. Please contact me at Jenna Jen Michelle Coaching or follow me on social media at the links attached. Have a great day. Bye.